achievement this is. This is Great Khan. Or as I might say, Great Canny. Because I canny do it. Now there's a big concern that the Oirat, they're going to get here with their morale back and they're just going to turn around and slap me. It's a shame that I cannot see around the Chagatai lands. Perhaps there's something I can do to get myself around that. Not knowing is terrible. At the very least, if my troops spread out, I can at least uh, hedge my bets. Winter, so I'm taking attrition moving through this land anyway. Okay. Not to worry. Tick of the month. <clears throat> I'll have enough troops to get through that. You then. You should be in charge of going along there. Ah, so that's as far as he ran. Uzbek are making gains on him. This I might be able to use to my advantage. The trouble is not knowing where he's going to go. He's probably much more likely to want to wipe my troops off of his land. But that is a bigger threat. What are you thinking, Manchu? Still not thinking of attacking me, which is good. I have no desire to die to you. You're going to head up there. Very well. If you head up there and you try and fake him into Chagatai's lands. You stay on the capital for now. sure that my troops landed there so that I could loot Kangai. It was only four ducats, but it's four ducats I wouldn't otherwise have, since I'm losing almost two per uh, month. No, that would be a better move. And again, we looted that province. Uh, it was only one ducat, but it's one ducat we would not otherwise have. All right, Kashmir, if you fall soon, then I'll be most impressed. Maybe not impressed, but just elated. Now, I'd rather you were over in Uruguistan, because it's further away for you to have to go. Ah... <sighs> This isn't good for the heart. Okay, now surely he's going to start moving with that. Yeah. Excellent. He's going to wipe out Uzbek. I highly doubt he's going to try and siege out uh, Chagatai. Oh, but... No, there's no way. It might be major... Uh, it might be weighted towards Desert Mountain, but not so much that his five maneuver general won't switch it round. Still, 
Nothing saying you have to beat the army to win the war. Except, you know, common sense. He's fighting on home turf, so he gets a 25% shock bonus. He's probably going to wipe those and then wipe my troops here. Unless he presses into Uzbek land. It's only 1,000 troops and it would divert his attention, so I'm going to take the chance that he might not go for them. Ah, <sighs> Doki, bloody Doki. Malx is almost gone, but it's his capital I was wanting to fall. He took the river crossing penalty, but the enemy has no shock. He has five. It's a four shock bonus of 25% extra free. So the odds of uh, Oirat losing these, losing this battle, is infinitesimally small. Yeah, look at that morale wipe on Uzbek. They're giving it a good college try, so they might stall uh, Oirat for a while. Good. I, uh, I'm ecstatic with that. Like I said, that will stall Uz uh, the Oirat for a wee while. He'll need to get his morale and men back before he goes on the move again. Kashmir, come on. Accept that you're dead. Edmund Funk asks if I'm planning on changing my religion. You know, I hate Buddhism. And this isn't some kind of... Uh, sentimental Ryukyu run, so yeah, I am changing that religion. This is fine, because we have no stability to lose. Manchu still don't have the mission to take me. This is excellent. Now I really hope that some of these provinces fall before he manages to uh, get his gangly little hands all over me. Oh come on Kashmir, you're letting the side down. Also bear in mind that his general is 5 maneuver. So if he so desires, he can wreck me. Also I haven't been improving relations like a fool. Let's get those Korean ones up. Is this really what I want? With limited troops, it's hard to think. I can no longer loot any of this land. Well, I never could loot these two provinces because they border Chagatai, who I have military access with thanks to the Alliance. Basically, these two are the only problems as I can still loot. Mm. So he's coming at me with an 8-stack that I have no hope to defeat. He's going to go here, then here. It's possible he could move here, and if he went from there to there... Let me see. Tenth of January, third of January. So I could beat him back to Dornod. However, from Dornod to Gilingol, good odds that he would uh, beat me to it. Still, gonna take the risk because that's how we do things around here. With maximum doki doki. Come on, Kashmir! Please! I'm begging you! Also, Uzbek got involved in another war and they've got rebel outbreaks, so I don't think they're going to be much help anymore. Which is not things that I was hoping to conclude myself to, because this otherwise was going swimmingly. Alright, so he is going, sure enough, for this province, so I gotta retreat. I can beat him by a day. But that is likely all I'll be able to beat him to. These two troops might be a wipe. Can we get to their capital faster? We can. Significantly faster. 
Damn, I want that capital to fall. Okay, I can do something a little cheap, but cheerful. Whilst you peg it in that direction. It was a shame that uh, this problems couldn't fall. Alright, so you make it there on the 25th of January. I really want this province to fall. There's a good chance I'll get it, like 35% with the addition of our air. But luck was not on our side today. Would that do it? Probably not. No, I should really cut my losses and get out of there. Otherwise, he's just going to arrive in here and then make it down here and wipe me. It's not really worth the risk. And it is a huge risk. Although I hate to lose, uh, hate to lose that kind of progress. Curses. 29th of January. Is that even fast enough? Yeah, surely. So we'll retreat into Ming. He also has military access to Ming, but the provinces are so small that I should be able to out-navigate him. What is more, it's time that uh, Chagatai can enter the fray. And we can get our little one stack back up and on the go. We can also give it our air, because one, we want him to die, and two, he has a pip in siege. So go for it, my heir. Also, lootable on the fourth month, you get there. Fifth month. I totally wasn't counting with my fingers there. So you're going for Alxa, so you want to siege back your own land. That I can approve of. The beauty of you sieging out your own land is it keeps your forces immobile, whilst mine can split. No, he had no intention of doing that. He's marching on this province right here. In fact, I would wager that he's going to try and fight Chagatai, and that's a fight he will likely stack wipe them in. Chagatai doesn't have the numbers that Uzbek had, and their general is uh, pretty much just as bad. Oh, no, three shock. Some good dice rolls, and that's victory for Tanner. What I should do is have my troops ready, just in case things... No, no, uh, that's, that's not what we want. You, you keep going for our, for our friends over there. Oh, you're it. Oh, you're it. Don't go for Ordos. There's nothing tasty there. It's a potential that he tried to go for my capital. I could scorch my capital your defensiveness for 60 months. <sighs> what are you going to do when you arrive in Ordos? Riddle me that, Riddle Master. I'm being asked if Uzbek pieced out. They did not. What is more, they're at war with the Chagatai. That's... Painful. It's going to divert Shagatai's attention. Kashmir may or may not add something to all this. No, they're spreading Shia. They're spreading Shia? I guess they start Shiite. Still going for Ordos. Ah, but he's going to siege up Ordos. That's good. Good for me. In a way. Well, what am I meant to do with these troops, anyway? I can snipe Ordos when he takes it if I leave behind a few.